Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2, Pandas Lead Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 597, Friend Request 1, Overall Acceptance Rates. The GitHub solution link for this video solution will be provided in the chat description. Okay, you can visit there and you can get access. And if you are in further interested in the YT community updates and everything you can just scan these links and join the communities and uh, the links are also provided in the video description now let's solve together the problem which you want to solve okay they have given two tables friend request which is consisting of a person sending a uh, friend request sender ID to whom he is sending send to ID on which date he was sending request ID similarly a request accepted table okay okay request ID okay so let us see the question first of all then find the overall acceptance rates of request which is the number of acceptance divided by the number of requests okay they want a ratio such that number of accepted divided by the number of requests which are there okay the accepted requests are not necessarily from the same table okay they are saying they can be from different different rows we don't care about it just we want the ratio in this case count the total accept requests no matter whether they are in the original repeal okay that is what they're saying and divide it by the number of requests to get the acceptance rate okay okay now it is possible that a sender sends multiple requests to the same receiver and a request could be accepted more than once in this case the duplicate request should not be there okay if there are no requests at all it should be written zero okay let us see first of all they said some ratio is there ratio is what unique accepted by unique requested let us come to the numerator part unique accepted okay we can clearly see There is this one two one three two three three four can i say that three four is again repeated from the previous row so can i say the number of unique things are four let us come here one two one three one four two three three four everything is unique can i say it is five so can i say here the numerator part is 4 denominator part is 5 4 by 5 is 0 0.8 so what we need to do in the step 1 is let us group by requester id comma accept id okay and let us take the number of rows from that table okay similarly let us group by sender id and send to id okay and let us see the number of unique groupings which are there okay and let us create a new data frame which is ratio of these two things a and b okay let me show you how it is done first of all let me do the first table okay for example return let us take the initial one so this is the table let me call it as some df or let me say a for simplicity let me group it up by requester id comma accepted id okay let us for example take the size
okay as we know we can't take it as a thing right let me do one thing reset index so clearly we can see this is the grouping what now what i want i want the number of rows so can i say dot shape will give me number of rows comma columns shape comma zero will give me the number of unique combinations of this one similarly let me take it for b also b is same thing friend request table group by sender id send to id same thing again so now we have a comma b okay now what i will do i will create a data frame because i don't want the a by b ratio that a by b ratio as a table i want so let me create a data frame okay and let me give a data okay because usually data frame takes a data parameter and data will take is the form of keys to value pairs what is the key column name what is the column name guys acceptance rate okay let me write it as accept accept rate okay now what is the row values it is a by b okay we need to give it as a list of values okay so i'm creating this a by this one b from this one and i'm creating a table called something table which has column acceptance rate and the value as a by b let me do it mm, what is, okay sender id space should not be there here also space should not be there okay done let me submit for all the test cases aha can you see zero division error okay everything we did correct but what is the issue if you see the third point if there are no requests at all you should return zero as the acceptance rate okay so now what they are saying is for example let us assume what is the denominator b right okay let us assume there are no requests sent then what will be there b will be zero a by zero is not possible in programming it will throw in zero division error okay it is undefined so it is saying your b is zero that is why i'm not able to calculate it so we need to check this test case so what i will do i will write let us say if only when b not equal to zero okay let me call my answer as ratio of a by b okay if it is equal to zero okay let me call my answer as just a zero okay and i will replace this with this answer now what will happen automatically it will check it in the previous condition whether it is satisfying the condition or not okay if the b is zero automatically here it will replace with zero if b is not zero it will calculate the a by b ratio and the answer will be written okay okay let me keep the column done let me check for all the test cases now okay now i think let me check what is the issue okay they want to round it up to two digits okay let me take this np dot round let me keep here np dot round or simply round also you can keep as we are not importing numpy round a by b comma t that's it now it will work yes successfully we have beaten all the test cases and we have solved the problem okay if you want the code solution which i have just written right now you can follow this github repository all the solutions in my of my youtube videos will be available here you can check the link in my video description
if you're interested in learning data science data analytics machine learning nlp computer precision and generative ai stuff please fill in the google form below it will be available in the video description and for further updates regarding my channel you can follow my official linkedin page this is also available in the video description and if you have any other further questions or doubts regarding these videos you can use the hashtag ask mlu prasad in the chat section any comment which has this hashtag i'll be solving your queries okay until then keep learning guys